Hey everyone, this is Aaron. Welcome back to the channel. In the last video, we saw how to create a OTB analysis with drill down functionality. So I wanted to show you a few more options that you have while creating a drill down. You can see the two different, uh, you can see the two analysis that we created in our last video, the detail and the summary. So let me open the summary analysis. And you can see that the drill down has been enabled for the party name field. So I want to show you how you can, um, you don't necessarily have to enable it for the party name field. You can enable it for the invoice amount field. And while doing that, I'll show you a few other tricks as well. So, all right, let's, look. all right, let's click edit. And, all right. In the criteria tab for the party name field, click on column properties, go to interaction, and you can see the existing action link that we have. You can remove it by deleting it, but let's go ahead and edit the action link. So one option that we have is to save the save this action link so that we can reuse it in other uh, analysis if we want to. So if you click the double arrows, you'll see edit action, remove action, and the third option is save action as. So let's select that option, give it a name. I'm gonna give it summary to detailed. Click okay, click okay. Now let's go ahead and remove this action link from the party name field. That is gone, click okay, save. Let's go back to the catalog and you can see that the summary to detailed action link has been saved and it's available in the catalog. Now let's see what happens if we click on edit. You can click browse, select another analysis and save the action link. Uh, if you click on options, you have the same options that we saw while we were creating the um, uh, action link from the um, BA analysis. Okay, click OK. We're not going to make any changes. Click on cancel. Now let's go back to the summary analysis. Click on edit. Click criteria. So let's go ahead and enable the action link for the invoice amount field. So column properties, interaction, select action link. Um, add a new action link, give it a link text. All right, so instead of adding a new action link, we can select the second option, which is select existing action. So click on that and go to my folders, wherever you have saved it. Uh, click the action that we saved. So mine is summary to detailed action. Click OK, click OK. Now you can see that the um, the action link has been enabled. Click OK. Save. Go back to the catalog. And go back to custom. Click open. And you can see that the, um, the invoice amount field has the drill down option. So you can click on uh, maybe Alex Cooper new details, and the drill down works correctly. You know, there are, uh, it works just like uh, the last time. So let's go ahead and edit this one. Uh, this is a detail analysis, sorry. This is not what we want to edit. So go back to the catalog, edit the summary analysis. I want to show you one more thing here. So column properties, interaction. You see that um, the action link, it, it says always enabled. You do have an option to conditionally enable the drill down. So if I edit the action link, you'll see an option called conditionally. So let's select conditionally and let's add a new condition. So you can select one of the two fields uh, that we have in the OTB analysis and create a condition using those two fields. 
or you could click on more columns and select um, any other column from the subject area to create the condition. But in, our, in my case, what I want to do is create a condition where the drill down is enabled uh, for um, invoice amounts greater than or equal to 20,000 US dollars. So I'm going to select invoice amount and select the operator as is greater than or equal to. I'm going to say $20,000. Click OK. Click OK. Click OK. Save. Let's go back to the catalog. Open the summary analysis. Now you can see that the drill down is enabled for all amounts where the amount is greater than or equal to 20,000. So anything less than 20,000, the drill down is not enabled. So let's select A1 Juice Supply, View Details. And you can see that the drill down works perfectly. So yeah, so I just wanted to show you these uh, few options that you have while creating the drill down. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to uh, see more videos on Oracle ERP Cloud and Oracle EPM related topics, consider subscribing. That's it for today. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Stay safe, take care, and bye.